Hey Fixer family, it's Charmin. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how to make these no-sew DIY farmhouse curtains out of tablecloths. Welcome to Fixin' Two. guys this is my kitchen and we have been in this house for eight years and I have had no window treatments in my kitchen for eight years if you can believe that and I'm so excited today to be able to share with you how I make these curtains and bring some warmth to the kitchen I'm so excited let's get started so these are the supplies that you're going to need to make your curtains I found this awesome website that had these polyester curtains. And so, of course, after measuring my windows, I ordered three of them. They are 60 inches by 102 inches. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. And also, you're going to need, for the no-sew, this heat and bond hemming tape. They have all kinds. They have a really strong one. They have this one. You'll also need some kind of a heat source. You can use a Cricut Easy Press or even just your iron on a no steam setting. And you're going to need some kind of ruler. Now, once we have taken the measurements on our window, we're going to lay out the tablecloth fabric and take the measurements and transfer the measurements to the fabric. Now, remember that these are just decorative panels. They are not going to close. So I just cut where I needed to cut. And the fun thing about this particular pattern is once you get where you need to cut, there is a natural line in this. And so you can cut a straight line. Now let's create our hem. These blocks are one inch, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iron and just fold it over a half an inch and create a crease. Now this will be the first crease that I create. And once I get that pressed and have a good crease in the fabric, then I'm going to lay out my hemming tape. Now of course this is a uh, heat and bond hemming tape, and we're gonna just lay this out and then we're going to uh, take that and fold over that first crease, making a second crease and then heating it to make a clean hem. Now this is also what I do when I create the pocket for the rod, rod to go through. I'll just make sure that I measure the size of my rod and then fold over that amount using the heat and bond tape. Now it's time to take measurements of the window where we want the brackets for the curtain rods. So I just take those measurements and um, I recruited my husband to help me out get those in. Now I'm going to take measurements over my kitchen sink. Again, measurements are so important to make sure that you get the right width, the right length, the right height, all of those things. So I just take my measurements and cut the fabrics and get them ready to be hung. Here it is, I'm using actually a tension rod for over my sink since I have cabinets that actually flank on either side of my window this was an easy way of not having to worry about using any hardware and making sure you've got anchor points in the sheetrock so I just used a tension rod and it worked out perfectly
the strips of fabric that I use to create the swag effect on this valance is using the same technique with the heat and bond. I just use a strip of fabric and tri-fold it and then heat it together. And then to make them stick together, I just use some stick, sticky back Velcro that I put on each end and it works beautifully to create those swag effects. I am so excited. I have told my husband a number of times since putting these up that I just, I'm in love with them and I don't know why I waited so long to put up window treatments in the kitchen and the unconventional fabric that I found. I'm so excited about that as well. I will make sure that I link that website in the description box below. Because I'm not sponsored at all and I want you guys to take advantage of that as well because this fabric right now is so popular and it's so hard to find in stock in the stores and even online. So I hope that that helps you guys out if this is something that you'd like to do. But of course the technique can be done with any fabric and any pattern of course. So make it your own. And I would love to see pictures. If you guys do some window treatments using these techniques, take a picture of it, upload it to Instagram and tag me in it. I'm at Fixin2AL and tag me and I'd love to see what your creation is. So guys, also, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to chat with you about it. Any questions that you may have that maybe I didn't quite cover or weren't quite clear on in the video, do that down below because I'd love to, to chat a little bit. So guys, thank you for joining me. And always remember to keep looking up because that's where it all is. I'll see you on the next video.